So let's see what this looks like from the student perspective. To access Microsoft Teams, students can access it the same way teachers can, by going to My Apps and selecting Microsoft Teams, knowing they may have to scroll down to find it or select off the recently used. But by selecting Microsoft Teams, that will put them into the Teams platform and either under the Teams option or Assignments, they can see the assignments that are given to them. By clicking the activity, I get this option. To do my work to submit the reading, I want to click the, Tate, the, the Reading Progress Activity, and that will take me to this screen, where you can see it activates my webcam. Hi, and it says Start. I can tell my microphone's working because this blue bar down here is going up and down, showing me that it can hear me. All I have to do as a student is to click the blue Start button, and you'll see on the screen we get a countdown, and now the text appears. This is my snake. His name is Tate. He likes lots and lots of grapes. I get them on sale for him. He likes the taste. I put them on his plate. Mm. And when they're all done, simply click I'm done. We can listen to the recording or we can click use this recording, which attaches it to the assignment These words were the most challenging for you. Select any word to tackle them again. So this is one of the features known as Reading Coach, where the artificial intelligence will look for words that were troublesome for the student. Uh, they can select that and keep going, or they can hit the close button. And now I've not practiced any words, but I'm gonna say I wanna close. I have uh, submitted the assignment. If I click again, it will give, the, give me the option to see this or go through Reading Coach. When I'm all set as a student, I simply click Turn In. And it says Turn In again because I already practiced, practiced this, but if I want to as a student, I can undo the Turn In and re-record it. But that is what it looks like for our students.